Y'all doing good? Today we're talking about Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, Part 1. Um, is it good? Yeah. Yeah, you already know it's good. It's, it's really good. So, I love this movie. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I think this is probably the best Mission Impossible that has been released. And I'm, that's just, me, that's my opinion. I mean, maybe you have a different one. I'm just telling you how I feel. This is probably the best Mission Impossible I have seen for a couple of reasons, which I will go into. Um, is it is it hard to believe some spots? Yeah, but it's Mission Impossible. So, you know, take, take, take for what, you know, for what you take that, take, take, ah, take that for what it is. So we start off with the plot, go into what I liked about the plot. I'm not going to go all the way through it. You've seen it. And if you haven't, you probably should when you do. Make sure you come back, like, subscribe if you like the content, and we'll get into some more stuff. Back at it. There will be spoilers, so once again, if you have not seen it, please uh, click off now. And, uh, yeah, here we go. All right. So in this movie, we are dealing with the fact that they have, they're being hunted by an AI. An AI that is outsmarting them through predictability and um, knowing their very moves, what they care about how they move to save friends, things like that, and just predicting their every move. I found that to be very interesting. I love that concept of them being attacked by AI and losing. I mean, they are actually getting their ass handed to them because this machine knows what they'll do next. And I thought that was uh, very well done. Um, Tom Cruise, of course, is back, and he is amazing as always he I've, I've always admired his his um attention to detail and his willingness to just throw himself into his craft and literally do whatever it takes i mean at the expense of breaking bones and and everything just willing to do whatever and i find that pretty i mean that that's further than i'm willing to go so i'm, I'm gonna call that amazing my computer's acting up on me, so I can't pull up the names right now, but you'll know who I'm talking about. Uh, so, nah, just, I, I need to get the names. I fucking hate this goddamn computer. So in this movie, Tom has to find Ilsa because she has found half of a key and uh, she's being hunted anyway because she has been, uh, I don't know, whatever you call it, when agents are rejected they are no longer agents they are just on the run so blacklisted or something i think that it, that, that could be wrong i don't know so tom has to find both half of the keys they still don't know what both of these keys go to and the story is off and running uh what i enjoyed about this movie um uh, again i appreciate tom's dedication to this movie i really like seeing vin rames again or luther and the whole team basically working together and showing how much they actually care for one another that has always been like the main uh, sticking point for me. I always like watching them work together and how much they cared for one another, which, which kind of made you want them to win because you see how much they care for one another and you, you just want them to help and, you know, not die. We get a lot of old familiar faces. Uh, we get Kittredge back and he doesn't look like he's aged a day since Mission Impossible 1. And, uh... Yeah, glad to see him back. Glad to see him still not believing Tom Cruise again. Like, how many times, how many different ways can we just not believe in Tom Cruise and his team? Like, how many times have you failed him, literally failed him, and he just keeps saving the world, and in every movie, I don't think his, his team or his people or America has believed in Tom Cruise and his team yet. They just think, you know what, what we're gonna do, we're gonna kill him, and then we're gonna blacklist him, and then we're gonna kill him again. They just keep hunting him down, he keeps saving the world, and they keep thinking that he switched sides. I don't <laughs> I don't understand why they keep chasing this man down. He's clearly on your side. Otherwise, he could have burned all y'all, took y'all to the laundromat long time ago, because clearly y'all too stupid to catch him. Uh, this movie introduces uh, Holly Atwell, as grace she's the new introduction i gotta admit i'm gonna be straight up with you i did not at first like grace's 
performance. And not because she did anything wrong. I just did not like the way they were using her. I thought, how many times is he going to save her and she's just going to keep running away and it just pissed me off. And I just wished at that's at some point somebody would just pull out an unalive weapon and unalive her because I really got tired of watching him save her life and then her just like setting him up. And I'm just like, no, no, why, why, why are you, why are you doing this again? I, I promise. I promise I would have sold her out. There she is right there. It's the girl you want. She has everything. Everything you've been looking for right there. She has it. I'd have sold her out so quick you don't even know. I would have saved her one time. Once. Once. And if she did that to me, there she go, officer. There she go. But after seeing the way that they were setting up her character and then you get to know her a little bit better and you see her on the train you start to piece together why she's with why she's the way she is she hasn't had anyone that she can believe in no one that she was willing to trust and i i started to understand why she was living the way that she was and then when i when you saw on her face the way that she believed that tom cruise would meet her on that train and she was willing to believe in him then i was like oh Okay, well, maybe I should stop being so critical all the time and just pay attention and just stop talking. They brought Vanessa Kirby back, or the White Widow, enjoyed seeing her character once again. She's still pretty pissed that Tom beat her uh, in one of the earlier installments of Mission Impossible. Um, is Zai Morales or Gabriel good to see him back? Or good to see him, period? Um, the... the Fight choreography was top notch. Of course, the score is really well done, and it, it came in and and in and, and perfect spots, and it knew to turn off in perfect spots. Like when they were driving, and they were crashing and everything, everything in Rome. I thought that, that was pretty cool. I, I did like that. Um, you could see the pain on his face when uh, when his friend or girl. I don't think they were Ilsa when they were kind of fighting a little bit so i can't wait to watch part two i'm, I'm not gonna lie you gotta let me know what is your favorite part about this movie uh did you enjoy it as much as i did did you have do you have a favorite uh mission impossible <clears throat> because again um this is really well good this is really well done uh tom slowing down you know they got to get that run they got to get that run scene in with him running on everything first he's running on top of airports then he's running in between candles but he didn't pick up speed the way I, I, I seen Tom used to, huh? He, he just he just hit that one gear and he kind of stayed there for the whole way. Didn't didn't pick up that second or third gear. Plus, I see in his face. No offense, you know all of us, all of us got it as we get a little bit older. You know what I'm saying? Tom looked like he enjoying some sandwiches. Now, you know what I mean? I mean, hey, I'm not I'm not I'm not clowning. I'm not clowning. I'm just saying, you know, we get up there, you know, it, it, you know, Tom ain't like he used to be, you know, he looked like he enjoyed a hoagie or a steak sandwich every now and then. So in the end, what I really think about this movie is that it's, it's very well put together. Um, towards the end, they fig they figure out that the keys go to a submarine. And I guess when this whole writer strike thing is over, we're going to find out exactly, you know, how this, how this ends is Tom done with mission impossible is, is, uh, Haley going to take over for him? Are they going to find somebody else for him? So it kind of looks like he's going back to his roots with this one, bringing in some people or everybody or as many people as he can who he didn't kill or unalive. Sorry, once again, YouTube. From a lot of the older or yeah older episodes. And uh, I don't know. This just kind of seems like a farewell kind of thing, the way it's being written. So again, let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe if you enjoy the content. And... Uh, I'll see y'all later, man. Thanks for hanging out. Cheers.